Hello everyone and welcome back to our VST Instruments and Plugins channel. Tom here and on this video I'm really excited to show you a brand new synthesizer for Halion, Halion Sonic and Halion Sonic SC and its name is Simple. Simple is a forward-thinking polyphonic synthesizer designed by music producer and audio software programmer Chris St. Albin and is focusing on two things, ease of use and maximum capability, which means you can create incredible sounds with a minimum amount of effort. And on this video, I'm going to show you how you can create massive sounds in just a few seconds. Also, the parameters in Simple are designed to deliver musical results at any setting, making the creative process less tedious. For over two years in the making, Simple stands for synthesis from a musical perspective. So let's dive right into it. Let's hear how it sounds and what it can do. So first things first, once you install Simple, you will be able to find it as a library in your Halion Sonic SC, Halion Sonic and Halion load page like this. As you can see, it appears with the corresponding icon. So when I click on this, I can have access to all the presets and there are quite a few presets. We have like over 600 presets on Simple. So there's a lot to explore. There are also quite a few initial presets that can help you get started if you want to create your own sounds. So this is simple. I'm using Halion Sonic 3 here, but it could be Halion Sonic SC or it could be Halion. What I like to do sometimes is I like to go here and uh, go into player mode, but I still like to have my quick controls and my keyboard showing up. So this is more of a streamlight interface and I like this. I can now focus on creating sounds. So let me give you a quick tour of the interface. I'm going to start creating some sounds and then I'm going to play a few of the presets for you so you can hear what Simple is capable of. To begin with, as you can see, really, really simple, no pun intended, interface. We have two oscillators. This is the heart of Simple. We have filters, we have some envelopes right there, but we also have some controls right here. So if you hover your mouse over this section, we have some really, really interesting controls. So we have volume, pan, pitch, all the normal stuff. We also have some effects right there, distortion, chorus, delay, reverb. We're going to talk about reverb later on. That's very, very cool. And we have something very, very interesting, and that's Supertone. Now, Supertone can be set in three modes. So we have digital, we have analog, and we also have Bionic. And I'm going to explain what each one of these modes are. We also have a mono section, a dedicated mono section. Again, very, very interesting things you can do here. And we also have an arpeggiator section where we have tones of arpeggios there. So if you're into arpeggios for your synth sounds, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Now, in order to show you all those different sections, I think the best way is to play some sound through it and you can see what each section does. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to play. OK, I'm going to remove the chorus for now, the delay and the reverb. We're going to come back to those later, but. That's the initial sound from Simple when you load just one instance of it. Now, let's check out a few things. The first thing I want to talk about is the oscillator section. We have two oscillators and more particularly this Simple control here. This control allows you to create fat sounds super, super fast. Let me show you what it does. Let's listen to it first. So this does many, many things under the hood and the whole concept is that it takes away this tedious process when you're designing sounds. It multiplies the oscillator voice, it detunes each new voice, it shifts its new voice from the selected waveform, add saturation, shifts voice phase, so much more. And this is not linear, which means you get incredibly fat sounds. Let's listen to it one more time. The next control that is very interesting is the shape control and this morphs between the different waveforms. So I can go from from one waveform to the other very, very quickly. Now, of course, we have two of these oscillators when we can layer them and create some really, really fat sounds. But what I want to show you here is the super tone control, which in my opinion is genius. I'll show you what it does. I'm going to go completely 
to a simple salted wave and now I am going to change the super tone. Let's add a little bit of the sibling control and now I'm going to explain the different modes. The first mode is the digital. Now this mode is very clean, it's very punchy, it's great if you want to create like really sharp sounds, it has a lot of attack. Actually the attack that you can get out of the digital mode for the super tone is incredible. It's really really punchy. <laughs> Now let's move on to the analog mode. Now the analog mode has a non-linear sound, it has a warm saturated sound, but it also has a little bit of oscillator drift and it sounds completely different to the digital one. Check out the difference. Hear a difference, see how the sound evolves? Analog. See, it kind of evolves in a different way than the digital one, which is way more stable. And then we have the bionic mode, which has a very warm saturated sound, and it's extremely non-linear. And this is the most CPU intensive super tone mode, but it sounds really fantastic. Check it out. So again, digital, analog, Bionic. So the difference in sound is very, very considerable. And I think that's one thing that makes Simple so special. You can get so many different sounds. You can get analog style sounds. You can get like really punchy digital sounds. So you have pretty much the whole spectrum of synthesizers in one library. Now let's uh, check out some other things. The next thing I want to show you is the mono mode and that's really really interesting. If I turn on mono, of course the sound turns mono. Okay, but in simple we have this parameter called super voice and super voice can make your sounds simply massive. Let me show you. So that's without Super Voice. Now let's add, see we have quite a few modes here, let's add Husky. Let's add Husky Free for example. <laughs> it's massive, it's so fat as well. Let's try the digital Supertone. Again, no super voice. Let's add Husky 6. Let's go to bionic mode. Let's try some more modes. Let's go to smear. And let's do some ultra wide ones. Why don't we go for ultra wide aid? <laughs> it makes it so fat, so wide. Um, with like literally, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to add like multi souls or something like this. It does everything for you with one simple control. That's what I like about simple. And let's go for chaos. See what I mean? This is why this instrument is called Simple. There's a lot of power, but you don't need to sweat about it. So let's uh, remove the super voice and let's go to polyphonic mode again. And let's go and add the second oscillator. Okay, now I'm going to change the shape a little bit.
Okay, so we have a massive sound to begin with, with minimum effort. So now let's go and check out the filters. Now the filter section is very powerful. It sounds incredibly good. And we have quite a few different filter types. So we have 36 low pass, 24 dB, 12 dB, notch filters. We have high passes, band passes, comb filtering, and the filter sounds really good. So let me show you very quickly. I'm going to assign it to my controller right here. So very, very fat. Okay, let's add a little bit of resonance emphasis. And then we have the fat control that adds a warm tube-like filter distortion to the signal. Let's try that out. So it's great. This is a different flavor and it's very different to, uh, you know, the filter on its own. It adds a different dimension to the filter. Now moving on with the controls, we have a modulation matrix. As you can see here, we can set up sources and our destination. It's extremely simple. And I'm going to show you one of the things that I love doing in simple because it's so effective. I like assigning the user envelope to my oscillator one pitch. And if I have two oscillators to my oscillator to pitch. And go all the way up with the amount and see this user envelope basically lives here. That's the one. And now you can create some really, really punchy sounds. I'm going to go to digital and I'm going to create like a very, very quick pitch envelope. See? Let's go and make it complete. And let's add a little bit like that. A little bit more simple parameter. So this is a very, very effective pitch envelope if you use the modulation matrix. Really, really powerful. Now, moving on, we have the effects section and we have quite a few things going on there. We have distortion, which you can actually mix it in with a signal. That's really cool. Bit crash, overdrive. and tone. Then we have a chorus. Very effective as well. And we also have a delay. And now I'm going to talk about the reverb. The reverb is very interesting in simple because we have a lush, really beautiful reverb, of course. It sounds great, but there's a special parameter here that's called reverse. And this allows you to create reverse reverbs very easily. Let me show you. That's so cool. In order to do this effect in a DAW, you would have to take the reverb, bounce it down, reverse it, and all these things. With Simple, you can do it straight on the plugin. Now, this is genius. I love this thing and it gives you so many options for sound design, you know? You can create pads that evolve and then they come in again. They fade in and out. Beautiful. Now, before I move on to playing some sounds from the presets, I want to show you how easily you can create a sound on Simple. So I'm going to start with the initial preset. I'm going to pick a supertone. Maybe for this one, I'm going to pick the analog supertone. And let's start playing with the sound. I'm going to, let's say I want to create a pad, right? I'm going to go like this. Maybe I want to add a little bit of Simple control here to make the sound a little bit richer, fatter, wider, everything. And maybe I want to add the second oscillator as well. 
Let's see how it sounds on its own. Maybe I'm gonna go like one octave lower for this one. Yes, to get a little bit of fatness. Nice. And now let's move on to the filter. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And let's add a little bit of envelope. Ah, that was nice. See how sharp the envelope is? I really like that. Yes, now some release. Maybe less, less bright. Why don't we go and add this reverse reverb and see what happens. Nice. And maybe I want to go and add a little bit more delay. Tiny bit of chorus. I really like the fact that I can see what I'm doing here in the graph, see? All right, now let's play this. Before I do this, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go to my modulation matrix and assign my LFO1 to the oscillator one shape. And then I'm going to go to slot seven and I want to assign my mod wheel to my modifier one, which is the LFO one. So what happens now is my mode wheel controls how much the LFO one will control the oscillator one shape. So I was talking while I was doing all this, but the sound was very fast to build. So let's see how much of a complex sound we managed to create in just a few seconds. So we have all these things going on, the reverse reverb, the wideness with the oscillators, the shift in the oscillator shape. I was able to do all this very quickly. And the great thing is that's not just one sound. I can just go and tweak the super tone and see if I can come up with different tones by just changing that parameter. Let's check it out. Let's go to the digital one. completely different sound and bionic. Nice and fat. Let's tweak the parameters here. And now if I want to completely change the sound, again, in a few seconds, go fast attack on the filter. Mono. Husky. And let's see what it does. Let's remove the, the delay for now, for this one. So as you can see, not only I can create a sound very quickly, but I can change the sound also very quickly. I can move from, uh, let's say, a pad to a completely different sound, like a bass or a lead. And that's the power of this instrument. It allows you to create sounds so quickly that you don't lose inspiration. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play some of the excellent presets that we have inside Simple and it's 600 of them. I'm going to play just a few of them so you can hear what kind of sounds you can get out of this instrument. So enjoy.
So there you go guys, this is Simple, our brand new incredibly powerful synthesizer for Halion, Halion Sonic and Halion Sonic SC. As you can see, you can get incredible sounds really, really fast, but you can also go really deep into synthesis if you wish to. Hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, share the video with your fellow producers and have lots of fun creating music with Simple. I will see you in the next video, until then, take care and groove on.